Hello and welcome to another law reading with me, Mioni, from the Encyclopedia Eorzea. Today we're continuing our trend of reading articles from this book with the Currency and Measurements section. Eorzeans employ a system of units and measurements which serve to quantify various aspects of their daily lives, from currency to units of length and weight. Familiarity with these concepts and their origins will afford the reader a deeper knowledge of the realm and the references employed by its residents to describe the world around them. A history of coin. When the sixth umbral calamity came, Laying waste to the land and swallowing up once proud nations of magi and wise men, the currencies minted and circulated by these civilizations lost their value, and the economy of Eorzea returned to a primitive system of barter and trade. As the realm recovered and rebuilt itself after the dawn of the sixth astral era, the currencies of Mark and Amdapur came back into limited use, their values assigned roughly according to the worth of their component metals. As city-states and nations came to flourish, certain interests took steps to mint their own currencies, with Charlian and Ishgard quick to follow suit. As contact between nations in these times was limited at best, no effort was made to introduce a universal standard, and for years many and myriad currencies were exchanged throughout the land. This changed in the years of peace that followed the Autumn War. Trade and diplomatic relations between nations flourished, and, for reasons of economic convenience, voices calling for a universal currency grew louder. In the year 1477 of the Sixth Astral Era, the leaders of Eorzea's six great city-states came together, and after some debate reached a decision to mint a universal currency to be used the realm over. So it came to be that Gil, a coinage once used by the ancient Allegan Empire, was reinstituted as a standard currency for all the land. In times of old, coins would typically bear designs inspired by heroes, leaders, or religious imagery of the nations that minted them. With the introduction of Gil as a universal currency, however, a consensus of experts from all nations made the decision to adopt neutral designs, ones not rooted in the traditions of any one culture or nation, in the interest of avoiding needless debate. To this end, the face of Nymea, the spinner, was chosen to grace the 100 Gil coin. An exception to the rule can be found in the commemorative 1 Gil coins issued by the Grand Companies for Foundation Day, which are emblazoned with the image of the leaders of their respective city-states. Weights and measures. Eorzeans measure length and distance in ilms, forms, yarms, and malms. The ilm is the fundamental unit of measurement, roughly equivalent to the length of an adult hyurian thumb, with the longer forms, yarms, and malms calculated using the ilm as a base. Needless to say, as the size of body parts can vary widely from person to person, these units were somewhat imprecise in the early days of their use. While this would rarely be a problem within close-knit communities, confusion quickly ensued as trade and commerce spread across the realm. Matters came to a head in the year 986 of the Sixth Astral Era, when a pirate who had came to Limsa Liminsa to procure sailcloth from the black markets became enraged when his purchase fell short in the length for which he believed he had paid. Though contradicting accounts of the incident exist, most agree that the ensuing scuffle left some fifty men dead or wounded. Admiral Rohomelsin of Limsa Liminsa took swift action, promptly arresting the pirate who had caused the ruckus, lopping his farm clean off, and declaring that it would henceforth serve as the standard measure of an ilm throughout the land. Cast iron replicas of a buccaneer's severed digit were produced in bulk and distributed around the realm to serve as one ilm rules, and disputes over vague measurements soon became a thing of the past. And to finalise this section on weights and measurements, they have also placed a unit and approximation table. One ilm is the equivalent to an adult hyurin thumb or a ripe rollenberry. One form is roughly twelve ilms, an adult hyurin foot or a grown chocobo tail feather. One yarm is exactly three forms, a bastard sword blade or an adult lalafelin male. And one malm is 1,760 yarms, which is the distance an adult Elizan can run in the tenth bell, or the approximate height of Ogamoro. Other units include one ons, which is an adult hyrun thumb, or a hundred gil coin. One pons is 16 onzas, which is also a merchant scale stone, or a block of kukuru butter. 
and one tons is 2,000 ponzas, a roughly matured gobu, 600 bottles of Wineport Red, or one standard overseas shipment of Wineport Red. Either way, that wraps up the currency and measurements of Eorzea and the various realms within. This book is absolutely fantastic. If you've never got the Encyclopedia Eorzea, hopefully these videos are helping you understand it a little bit better. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.